radical prostatectomy, surgery, there's external beam radiation, there's prostate brachytherapy. Each of those procedures have evolved over the years trying to make them better to improve outcomes, minimize complications and morbidity. Uh, one thing we've done at UPMC is we've used cesium-131 as the isotope in prostate brachytherapy to try to decrease the urinary and bowel morbidity that accompanies treatment of prostate cancer. So we have now up to nine years of follow-up on these patients. Prostate cancer, at least localized prostate cancer, takes 15, 20 years before you really know how well you've done in treating prostate cancer because it's such a slow-growing disease. But we want to get our outcomes out there. So we have a significant number of patients that are five-year follow-ups. We published our five-year uh, oncologic outcomes for prostate brachytherapy with CCM131 and really have had excellent results. Uh, we have stratified our patients into low-risk, intermediate risk, and high-risk. And in all categories, our outcomes have been excellent. Five-year follow-up in terms of being biochemically disease-free in terms of PSA measures is high, uh, greater than 95% for uh, low-risk disease, I think greater than 90% for intermediate disease, and in the high 80% for high-risk disease. Focal therapy is an attempt to treat just part of the prostate rather than the whole gland. The thought being there's an index lesion that drives biology of the tumor. And if you can eradicate that index lesion, you can cure the cancer. And by treating just part of the gland instead of the whole gland, we're minimizing the complications that can come with the treatment of localized prostate cancer. Well, we've started using uh, focal therapy here at UPMC, and that is still considered experimental. So you need an IRB approved protocol to do that, and we've got one through um, to use CC131 prostate brachytherapy as a modality to treat uh, our prostate cancer in a focal way. Uh, other methods can crowd surgery, lasers, heat. We've chosen prostate brachytherapy because I think that leaves us many options if the, if the treatment does fail. There's been concern because of prostate cancer screening with PSA that we're over-diagnosing prostate cancer. We're finding prostate cancers that may be harmless to that man. And if we treat a harmless prostate cancer, any complication that comes from treatment is unnecessary. So we've tried to only treat significant prostate cancers and do our best to limit morbidity that comes with treatment. I think the latest trend due to the concern of overtreatment is active surveillance of prostate cancer, not treating uh, prostate cancer. We think it's not significant. Uh, also, focal therapy, I think, is becoming more and more popular to treat just part of the prostate to eradicate the cancer while still uh, minimizing morbidity of treatment.